Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about embryological support for evolution. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So Ernest Haeckel suggested that there is embryological evidence for evolution. He coined the term ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny in 1866. It states that development of an organism that is called ontogeny expresses the evolutionary history and all the intermediate forms of its ancestors that is called recapitulates phylogeny. Hackel means that an organism in the course of its development goes through all the stages of those forms of life from which it has evolved. For example, a cheek embryo may resemble the embryos of reptiles and fish at points in its development. Another example states that the embryos of all vertebrates including human develop a row of vestigial gill slits just behind the head but it is a functional organ only in fish and not found in any other adult vertebrates. When embryos of reptiles, birds, fish and mammals are observed, it can be seen that they show many structural similarities. Not all the structures present in the embryo need to be useful to the adult. Some structures may disappear in the process of evolution. Many embryos show the presence of tail bones but only some organisms will show the development of the tail. But this theory was rejected by Carl Ernest von Weir. Why he rejected this theory, we'll see in the next lecture. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.